Hi, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor, and in today's video, we'll talk about how to fix the Kenwood Fully Automatic Washing Machine E4 Error Code. But first, what does this error code mean? The Kenwood Fully Automatic Washing Machine E4 Error Code is a flood error code that flashes when there is an overflow issue, which activates your machine's anti-flood mode. You'll see this error when your washer can't expel the excess water. The following are some of the common causes of this error. A worn out inlet valve. The water inlet valve regulates how much water gets into your machine. It lets in more water when worn out, triggering the error. A faulty pressure switch or sensor. Your machine's pressure switch or sensor could be clogged with debris or foreign objects. These could affect its communication with a water inlet valve, resulting in an overflow and possible flooding. Malfunctioning Control Board The control board is the brains of the Kenwood machine. If it's damaged, your machine could flood or stop mid-cycle. Now, let's look at the best solutions you can apply to fix the air. Replace the inlet valve. Unplug your washing machine and remove the water connection. Open the back panel to access the inlet valve. Before replacing, test the continuity of the solenoid valves using a multimeter. If the resistance is too low, replace the inlet valves. Loosen up the inlet valve's connections to detach the old unit. Slide in the new unit and secure it to the machine. Replace the back panel and hoses and test the machine. Test the pressure sensors. Unplug your washing machine and remove the water connection. Remove the pressure switch and tube. This is under the top panel attached to the frame in the front loader. Examine the pressure tube for debris and cracks. If there are cracks, replace the tube. If not, use a multimeter to test the pressure switch's terminals. Replace the pressure switch if the resistance falls below the standard. Remember to use genuine parts. Once done, reinstall the pressure switch and tubes and test the machine. Replace the control board. Unplug the washer, remove the control knob and open the control console. Take a photo of the old control board, ensuring you capture the wire locations. Remove the old control board. Align and install the new one. Replace the console and plug in the machine. Calibrate and test the washer. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Till next time.